at the moment we're looking at the design view and you can see onto a form that has been placed a label and three buttons. Let's just run the application and see what it actually does. It produces this form which is an instance of the form that was created in the design view i.e. it's an instance of the form one class. Now if I click on the red button here you can see that the label goes to red if I click onto the green button you can see it goes to green and if I click onto the blue you can see that the label goes to the color blue. If we have a look at the code associated with Form 1 we can see here that we have a public class Form 1 and down here we have N class and in this area here we can see we have three click events. We have this one here which is the click event associated with the UI red button. This click event is associated with the UI green button and this one here is the click event associated with the UI blue button. Now if we take a look at just the one associated with the UI red button what we can see is happening here is that the back color property of the UI color label is assigned the color red. So when we click on that button we get the color red. If we have a look at the code attached to the green button here it says color dot green and if we look down we can see that that says color dot blue. So when the form is executed i.e. an instance of this class is formed clicking on one of the buttons will change the color of the label to either red, green or blue because if we look here we can see that this is the same label as this one which is the same label as this one and we're affecting the same property in all three cases. Now what we have to be clear of here is that this is the class this doesn't exist at runtime we have to create an instance of this particular class so if I have a look at the the design of the form here again that's the class we've just seen the code attached to the class let's go back and have a look at it you see this code here is what I was responsible for producing as the programmer and I've been developing a class so when I go back and look at this I was responsible for adding the three buttons and the label now when I run the application what I will get is a form this form here and that is an instant of the class that I've just developed and when I click on red green and blue we can see the color changes as we would expect but this thing I'm moving around now let's remind ourselves that's the instance of the class what I'm going to do now I'm going to go to the toolbox here and I'm going to add a button and I'm going to move this button down here position it there I'm just going to pause the video while I change the properties of that particular button now we can see that I've actually changed the text property of the button to create an instance and if we look over here you can see that I've changed the name property of the button to UI create instance button now I'm going to come to this particular button here and I'm going to double click on it and when I do it'll bring up the code window behind and we can see that we here have a template and that template is for the UI create button click event and inside here I'm now going to enter some code now I'm going to create a variable by typing dim my object as form1 now this is a variable that I have chosen and I've called it my object and it's going to be capable of pointing to an instance of the class form1 in other words this is going to be another instance of the form 1 that we've been building the class for. Now on this line I'm now going to type my object equals new form 1. Now this line of code is capable of producing an instance of form 1 and we've used this keyword here new and what we're looking at here is a constructor 
this is going to construct an instance of form 1. Now at this point in time what will actually happen if this was running, when remember this is a class so it doesn't actually execute, it's only when we have an instance of this class that I'll be able to execute the click event associated with the UI create instance button. It'll appear in the computer's memory somewhere and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But what we now have, we have a variable that I have declared called my object which I've just highlighted there, and that now is an object reference to an instance of the form1 class. Now what we now have to do is to write another line of code so that the object will show up on the visual display unit. And I'll do that on the next line. And here we can now see we have this line of code which is my object dot show. Now what I've now done, I've altered the form1 class by adding another button and to that button I've had the ability to create another instance. Okay, here we are in the design mode, and we can now see the form one with the label, and now the four buttons, the red, the green, and the blue, and the create an instant button. What I'm now going to do is to run this application and see what we get. Well, there we can see we have form one, and I can click red, green, and blue, and we see that that actually functions. What I've also got now, however, is this. Look, create an instance. So let's click that. Oh, and I get another form. I can change that one to green. I can click on this, and I get another instance. In fact, I can keep on clicking on these buttons, and I get as many instances of the form that I was responsible for creating in the design view. And what we can see, if I change this one here to red, I've got a form that's both green in terms of its label's colour, another one's got a label of blue, another one's got a label of green. Now I'll shut some of these down, I'll shut this one down, and I'll shut this one down. And in front of us now, what we can see, I've got this form here. Now that's an instance of the Form 1 class. This is an instance of the Form 1 class. This one is that I'm moving around, and finally, this one is. And if we look very carefully, they all look more or less identical, except, of course, on one of them I've clicked the blue button, on the other the red, the other the green, and on this one here, I've yet to click one of the buttons. So that's what it looks like when it's first created. And what you're looking at here is the ability to create more than one instance of a class. So hopefully now this should give you a good idea as to what the difference is between a class and an object. An object is an instance of a class. Here you can see I've actually created an instance of the class by running this particular program. And now I'm going to click on this button here and I get another instance. Then I'm going to click on the same button here and I get another instance. And finally, I'm going to click on this button here, and I get another instance. And what we can see there is I've just created four objects of the same class. And you can see at the moment of creation, they're identical to each other. Now I can do something now. I can, as you've already seen, click here and change that one to red. I can click here and change that one to green. And I can click here and change that one to blue. And what I've really done there, I've altered what you could describe as a state associated with each of the forms.